Well, then this morning, you can share your thoughts on the plans to raise the Talmadge Bridge. Yeah, we want to go ahead and check in with WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson joining us live this morning. And AJ, what can you tell us? Well, Emma Frank, the Georgia Department of Transportation is moving forward with plans to raise the Talmadge Bridge behind me, and they want to hear from the public. The comment period is now open for people to submit comments about the project, which aims to allow larger ships to pass underneath the bridge. Here's how it'll work. It will replace the existing cables, bearings, and joints. The bridge would stay open during construction, but there would be lane closures in both directions. After officials hear from the public, they will draw up a final design and then construction would start next year. They do say that schedule is subject to change. People can submit comments through July 27th, which is actually next Thursday, and you can find the link on our website later this morning at WJCL.com. Back to you. Hey, AJ, before we let you go, do you know how or what those officials plan to do with the, com the comments they receive? Yeah, actually, the Georgia DOT says they'll publish a comment response letter after a month or about 45 days after the comment period ends. Frank, back to you. All right, we appreciate you. WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson live there on River Street.